This is Ms. Neelam. I am from India and I am teaching grade 5 science at Hoister Elementary School, North Carolina. I am Aparna, I am from India. So I am working as a math teacher at Pitman Elementary School, North Carolina. What inspired you to make the decision to move abroad to teach? First, I want to give a very big thanks to Talzin. It was my dream to come to US. Initially, when I applied for it, I uh, got a referral from my friend that I, I was initially inter interviewed to check my skills. And uh, during that time also, they have corrected me in certain things. And later on, they put me in the pool and uh, they have given the entire team a very good training and uh, which helped me to improve myself and gave me the confidence to attend the interview. My first interview, it was a very good experience, even though I didn't get through it, but I loved the experience. And for the second interview, I didn't even face any difficulty. It was so nice to like we were so casual in the interview and the interview went on so smoothly and we got selected immediately. So really a big thanks to Talzin. <laughs> when, whenever there are mock interviews in Talzin uh, in the Zoom, uh, uh, they facilitate us in such a way that we don't feel any tension when we go to the interviews. Never sir. Thank you so much for that and that training was really a good one. Talzant is too good. <laughs> yes. uh, how did Talzant facilitate the relocation process and were there any notable support mechanism? Yes. When I got a H-1B visa approval, again Talzant did not desert us. Uh, they started coordinating with us about the housing in US in North Carolina. They have sent us all the details about whatever we need to carry to US, whatever luggage we need to pack. Talzant again uh, supported us to uh, open our bank accounts. They were coordinating everything from US to India. Talzant, thank you for supporting us. We never felt that we are alone in US. And Aparna, this is my friend. Uh, we were together in Dubai as well as together in New York. Thank you, Dalzan, for that. Okay. Would you recommend teaching abroad to other educators? And if so, what advice would you give? Yes. So, of course, I will recommend to my colleagues and my friends and I have did it also. So, when my friends heard that I got a job in US, they were so happy and they couldn't even believe. Uh, that how did you get through this that two H1B visa they were so happy yes. H1B is a, yes. a dream for everyone right. because yes. we never thought we would be in H1B here but it's a dream for everyone yes uh, it, yeah. got, it can come yeah. it can come, can true. come true just yes. like us dreams come yes. true so yeah. you yeah. all can trust Tal trust, trust. So you have you. to trust Tal thank you thank you so much and the suggestion which I give them is just attend the trainings properly and you know work on the feedback whatever uh, the Talzin team has given you during the time of training then you will definitely get through it yes I totally, I totally agree with you Aparna once you get into the pool listen to the instructions listen to the feedback of the uh, people there and try to make up you will be okay and you will be successful in the journey and in this journey there will not be any hurdles Talzin will be always with you um, yes, of course we are. We are doing good. We are doing yes, good. We are we enjoying. Are. We, are we are enjoying happy here. here as a family. Yeah, as a family, we are enjoying. So we are here to tell you. Yeah. What were some of the biggest surprises you encountered while teaching abroad? Okay, there are uh, two surprises for me. One will be a culture shock, sir, and another one is language. Till now, after two months, I'm still struggling to understand the language. But there are many teachers around us who will uh, facilitate us with the language. It's not at all a big thing. We can go through all the processes. It's very easy.